Hi! Ever wondered why watermelons and flowers flood the markets of Vietnam during January or February? Well, welcome to the world of Tad Holiday, the biggest holiday in Vietnam, which marks the beginning of Lunar New Year. Today, I'm here to share about the biggest holiday in Vietnam, and as you guessed already, it is the New Year. This isn't your typical New Year celebration. That is when hardworking Vietnamese people are finally taking their well-deserved break. They close their businesses, they finish their work, and they head to their hometowns. They close their businesses for three or four days. But as I've seen, some businesses will remain closed for 10 or 15 days, which means that maybe people go travel into another country, or maybe their relatives live really, really far away so they have to spend a lot of time traveling there. Tat usually falls in late January or early February based on the Lunar New Year calendar. And it's a perfect time for the family reunion. The first thing we've noticed that one day before holidays, a lot of watermelons appear on the streets. A lot of people selling watermelons. So Vietnamese people buy watermelon before holiday. As we know, the color red is a predominant color in watermelon, and red in Vietnamese culture symbolizes wealth and fortune. As I mentioned before, they also buy a lot of flowers. Overall, flowers are believed to bring luck, prosperity, and a lot of fortune to households. If you want to know more surprising facts about Vietnamese culture, make sure to check out this video. There are plenty of interesting facts. Dining at Tad isn't complete without traditional bun chin. Traditional bun chin is a Vietnamese rice cake made with glutinous rice with pork inside, beans, and all of this is wrapped in a banana leaf. It's prepared during the Lunar New Year because it symbolizes the earth. They are sold in the shops, but as I understand, a lot of people are cooking them at home as well. The taste of traditional bun chin is savory and rich. Overall, it is a great blend of flavors. If you have a chance, just give it a go. During holidays, some people prefer dining at home. But even when they dine at home, sometimes they take their chairs and table outside and they dine by the road. What we've noticed on the New Year's Eve is that a lot of traditional Vietnamese places were still packed, which means that a lot of people don't, don't want to cook at home. As midnight comes, people are getting ready for the fireworks. So this is the time when it marks the beginning of the new year, so people are getting ready seriously, they buy a lot of firecrackers, fireworks. If you want to have the best view, head to the loft. It is the best place to watch the fireworks, and this year fireworks were in nine different spots in Ho Chi Minh, and we could see them all just simply because it was 360 degrees view. And the best thing about it, not many people know about this place. Three, two, one! If you come there before 9, you may even catch a happy hour. This year, the fireworks lasted for 15 minutes, but the problem was that after 5 minutes, everything became very blurry and we could barely see anything because of smoke. If you go downstairs on the walking street, you may see a lot of those shiny things on the ground. Apart from firecrackers, people go crazy on those glitter firework tubes. It's quite interesting, but they are not in a hurry to clean anything here, and there is a reason for it. There is a tradition of not cleaning the house or business during the first days of Tad holiday. <laughs> It 
is believed that sweeping or cleaning during that time may sweep away all the good luck and prosperity that was brought by the new year. But Tad isn't just about feasting and fireworks, it's also time for red packets. These red packets are given by adults to unmarried people, children or younger relatives. This symbolizes good luck and blessings for the new year. It is also common for employers to give these red packets to their employees as a gesture of appreciation for their hard work. We've decided to give a red packet to our security guard, and guess what? He was over the moon about it. Chuck something. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Chuck mong nam moi. Yeah. Thank you. Happy New Year. Bye -bye. During the celebration, Vietnamese people have to burn something. And guess what they burn? They have to burn paper money. Vietnamese people believe that burned money provides comfort and good life to their deceased relatives in the afterlife. They want to ensure that their relatives have everything they need for the new year. The days following Tad holiday are very quiet because people need some time to recover. And as you understand, most businesses remain closed. Usually our roads are very busy because there are a lot of businesses located there. But look what they look like right now. There is no sign of hustle and bustle. For travelers, this may mean that you'll have to rely on foreign restaurants for a couple of days and you'll have no chance to try real Vietnamese food. So if you're planning a short visit and you, you want to experience authentic taste of Vietnam, I would recommend you traveling either before Tad holiday or after Tad holiday. Otherwise, you'll end up eating shrimp burgers in KFC. So there you have it. Now you understand what Tad Holiday is about. It's more than just New Year's celebration. It's a unique cultural experience. Would you like to become a part of this celebration? Let me know in the comments.